Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and welcome back to our special Buttershot.com series on installing Ubuntu. In this final segment of our 10-part series, we've installed Ubuntu on a PC, gone over some of the basics, and I want to give you a few tips about switching. One thing you're going to want to do is click on System, Administration, and Update Manager, Open Source Products, like those contained in Ubuntu are updated frequently and you'll see here it goes through and it has all of these updates 279 now you can unselect them if you want I personally always just say install updates you have to put in your system password and then I just minimize it and it's out of the way another thing I want to point out when you're switching you can go down here to the Ubuntu Software Center click on that and when the Ubuntu software center comes up you see here there are thousands of programs you can search by categories you can also see what software you have installed so there's all these things installed you can get software graphics internet office themes and lots more so this is a handy resource especially if you're new to Ubuntu to find out just what's there and so much of it is absolutely free. Another thing I like to always point out to new users of Ubuntu, there are a number of other things that you might want to make sure you check, especially under preferences, things like the remote desktop setup. If you want to access your Ubuntu computer from a remote location. Another thing is startup applications often a problem in Windows is that too many things are starting Ubuntu makes it very easy it shows you exactly what is starting automatically and if you don't want to have it just uncheck it and you're done and then lastly I personally have a couple of programs I have several programs but I'm only gonna have time to talk about a couple of them that I always install in Ubuntu coming from Windows because in this day and age, working from multiple computers, with multiple operating systems, with multiple smartphones, you need to try to keep organized. So one of the programs I put on everything is Google Chrome. And one reason I've become more and more endeared to Google Chrome is because I've just installed Ubuntu. I just installed Chrome. And yet by going into options, into the options down here and turning on sync it's automatically brought in not only all of my bookmarks but also all of my extensions I mean what a time saver now you're in a new operating system I don't have to install any of these things because Google Chrome has installed them for me and then lastly another one I have on everything Windows Mac Ubuntu and both my iPhone, Droid Incredible, and <laughs> Blackberry is Dropbox. Dropbox makes it easy for me to have files that are automatically placed everywhere I go. So I can drop a file in Dropbox here, and I'll be able to access it from my Droid Incredible. I'll be able to access it from my Mac at the other desk. I'll be able to access it from other virtual machines. There's no charge for how many times you install Dropbox. So these are some tips that I hope will be beneficial to you when you're switching from Windows to Ubuntu. That concludes this 10-part series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed doing it. Ubuntu is a very viable alternative to other operating systems. It provides so much and costs you so very, very, very little. I'm Doc Callahan, and as I like to say, that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.